allows you as you look at investments in Pakistan and what are some of the impediments or some of the challenges that you face? Good morning. Very proud, very happy to be here. I've been in Pakistan for two years now. I've been all over the country. I've seen magnificent places. Fundamentals are there. Foundations are there. Well, we decided after selling out Mobilink to continue investing in Pakistan into real estate. We've been acquiring our uh, land on the Kashmir Highway for the past 12 years. However, let me take you a little bit backwards and, and look into the figures. You have 220 plus million uh, Pakistanis, you have uh, 120 locals, you have 100 million overseas Pakistanis. So when we did 18, we wanted to create a lifestyle. We wanted to create something that is different from what's happening on the ground. We wanted to take the real estate industry to complete different levels. The name 18 comes with the 18th district. And then when we started putting our brand as if 18, if we can assume that Pakistan is 18 for, for, for just seconds, and then you created the brand and then you saw who are your target audiences. So we came up with the slogan of a place to reflect lifestyle for 100 plus million locals. Yeah. Nice. and a place to relate back home for a million overseas Pakistanis. The quick wins that has been happening for the past 15 months, uh, we have done about 78 roadshows outside Pakistan. We have sold for $200 million, we've sold for $80 million uh, outside Pakistan. We are actually bringing FDIs. We've opened offices in uh, Toronto, Montreal, Ontario, Houston, Dallas, Jersey, New York, you, uh, London, Manchester, Birmingham, Saudi Arabia, and UAE because we went to the 80-20 rule of where are the overseas Pakistanis. Um, this is what we've done. Uh, next steps, um, I think um, there, there has to be some quick wins because when we look into the numbers, you talk about 50 billion over the next few years. Uh, moving up, that, that's around 25 million tourists right. uh, on an average spending of $2,000 per tourist. Um, yes, that can happen. It has happened uh, before. We have all the foundations there. So all um, the consolidated efforts should come into the um, health tourism, the education tourism, the hiking, everything over that. There's lots of beautiful stuff. You can do a ski resort uh, in winter and a hiking resort in summer in the same place. And, and we're working into things like that. What I'm trying to say in a nutshell, um, that while we look at the long-term number and uh, put the foundations in doing that, uh, we need to do some quick wins. Uh, quick wins that help the investor on the ground to go forward. Quick wins that help me overcome the devaluation of the prices of, of PKR so that I can deliver a proper service. So we need to work on some things. There's about 15% from total overseas Pakistanis that come on annual basis, mm -hmm. and the rest do not come. Those are your first pillar of okay. tourism to help you get them in the country, to spend more money, to get per capita consumption, to overcome the devaluation, and then you work on the long-term growth, sustainable, sustainable growth of going up to 50 billion. So uh, we've created property and facility management companies. We have succeeded in doing that, and we are continuing to do that this year. Uh, and hopefully things will evolve in a better way. Thank you.